How we doing folks, Phil Cougar here. Um, this is, well, it could be a helpful video to some, not everyone, but for all you players out there who hold two accounts, or maybe three accounts, uh, you hold one on the EU, you hold one on NA server, and you maybe hold one on the APAC server. Whatever. But if you have two accounts, like I do here, um, one I use for the NA, one I use for the EU, and I've posted videos from both accounts here on YouTube on this channel for a while now. But uh, I logged into the NA account a while back, about l middle of last week, and uh, I just finished playing on the Silent Cougar on EU and the uh, time difference changed. Now I want you to pay attention to this video uh, while I'm talking here because I'm now down to 100 health points on my first life and I want to see what happens during the rest of the game. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to spoil it but yeah, just keep watching while I blether away here and give you some important intel about this new update that's coming regarding linked accounts. Now, it's supposed to be happening in February of next year, 2025. Um, and if you log into EU and then swap, or swap over then onto NA, if you log in via Steam, it has to have two separate accounts. Now, both my EU account had a separate email address, a separate password, and it played on a separate in-game name, nickname. When I logged into my NA account via Steam, it also was logged into a different Steam account. Different email, different password, different name, in-game name. It was an enemy gunner. I paid the 2,500 gold to change it to Silent Cougar YouTube or YT rather, um, so they were both connected. But trying to link the system came back with a conflict, um, because when you swap out of one server onto NA, if you don't click disconnect in-game, so that when you try to log back into your NA server, and then change region from Europe to s North America, then it causes a conflict somewhere. So if you're doing that at present, if you've got two different Steam accounts and you log into the two different servers via two separate accounts, then make sure that you'll disconnect from that server, whatever one it is you're on. So if you're going from EU to North America, disconnect. And the same if you're doing it vice versa, from North America to EU. I found that out the hard way. It causes a conflict in the system somewhere. So I've had to change email. And I've also had to try and link both accounts as a system request, because that little pop-up window comes up. So I changed the address on my main account, my Silent Cougar account on EU, to attempt to link in both accounts. But when going through the system, it conflicted. This email address is used on another account. Eh, uh, duh! <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. So I've had to use the player support system to try and explain how I logged in, why this conflict happens, because if you don't disconnect from the server before you swap over to play EU or NA, then it causes, it creates a conflict somewhere. Where? I don't know because they were both linked via two different emails, two different in-game names, and two different passwords. So just be wary, because at present, I'm logged out at any. I can't get in. I've played all that time, put all that grind effort in. Put that, yes, I, I bought things out of the store, so I've put money in it. But at present, I can't log into my any account. So from now until they can help resolve it, or I can help res help them resolve it, then I'm stuck with the one account on EU, which I don't want. 
I don't want to be just stuck on EU. There are other create content creators out there, like some Meadzy and Bushka and uh, all the other big ones, the big names that are there. I'm not going to name them all. They're in the video that I posted up a couple of weeks back about content creators. They all have separate accounts. Some of them have separate accounts for the three EU, NA and APAC. I don't have that... Um, it's uh, the ping and the packet loss is just too much on the to to deal with. So it's just any an EU, but at present, as I said, it's just EU. Um, so just a little bit of beware alert in regards to this new update, this new vital update that's supposed to be coming into effect in February, where they're going to merge all the servers together. I mean, after the uh, the EU CIS merger, you know, excuse my French, but uh, <laughs> it went to hell in a handbasket. It was an absolute clusterfuck because all your meta, all your your tank things that you used to use, you know, if you you were on this map, you went this way. You were on that map, you went the other way. This group went that way. This group went no. When that when the CIS merger crossed over. A, couldn't understand, no disrespect to them, but they speaking in Cyrillics of whatever language, we couldn't understand them, so chat was balled off. And because of the conflicts between the two major countries that joined from CIS region, there was major conflict in the chat, so we lost chat. Um, it was just an absolute nightmare. And to think that this is going to happen again in February when they change accounts to having all the servers linked together, merged together, oh man, is that going to cause problems? Uh, I dare to think, I dare to think, I don't want to lose them, I don't want to lose the accounts I've got, all the time and the money and the effort and the, the laughs and the shits and the giggles put in it, as you all will have done the same. So, a little bit of caution when you're trying to link your accounts, as the pop-up requests you do. Um, you might find there's some, you can't use both phone numbers to bind, your, to bind to your account. You'll need two separate phone numbers, as I've just been advised. Um, and if you use the same email address, when you, when you log into one account, using that specific email address to link your account, then you can't use it for that. So you need two separate email addresses. I don't know how this is going to work. I think this is going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. But, uh, yeah, just be wary, folks. Just be wary. And for those who are still paying attention to what the hell's happening in the game, I've still got my 100 points. <laughs> I'm still on my first life. They're down to four men, and look at the clock, we've got 36 seconds left. So, um, yeah. The old man knows how to play. It's not always that uh, you get a team that knows how to play. So some results can be disheartening, to say the least. <laughs> but it's a game. You're supposed to be able to have fun of it. Um, You've got all your competitive players who play in the tournaments, and you've got your ordinary gamers who enjoy the game, love the game, even with all the... Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, just be wary. Now here's a couple of extra bits for you. Just a wee couple of extra bits. What do I get? 10,117, uh, 3,020 blocked, and destroyed four. I got 46,000 credits, and I got extra 20 gold, and I was top spot. Not by much, but I was top spot. The guy below me did well. But there's the run of battles leading up to completing the quest that was on the go today. The Halloween quest for the, uh, the background. You could either choose one background or the other. I went for the trick or treat thing. I went for the trick. I also watched the live stream and gained myself eight fan containers. I watched the whole thing with Paul of N90 doing it, the whole thing, or 90, 
whatever. And you get these fan containers, you get a couple of days credits or th a couple of thousand um, boosters, and premium account added on, you know, a day or three days or a week or something. There's a Steel Sentinel camouflage, that's from back in the, the uh, offline competitions a while back. More credits and more boosters, there's more boosters, there's a Twister camouflage for the FCM 50T, yeah. Um, dedicated to Twister Cup, <laughs> yeah, a while back again, and another 100,000 credits. No tanks yet. Uh, 10 XP boosters and 75,000 credits. I think I'm sitting on about 90 million credits or something like that, or maybe more. No, it's more than that. It's more than that. But there's more credits, more boosters, more credits, more boosters, and I've got two containers left. You get the containers for free, so I mean these are just freebies. It's just for watching the live stream. Oh, there's now three days account again. Always handy, and another 10, 200, three, so that'll double up to 2300. Yep, that's it. That's them done and dusted. So, yeah. What do I need to? Oh, I need to change those. Uh, <laughs> all these certificates for tanks that you've got, <laughs> you can't do anything with them. You can't exchange. You can only exchange the ones that for the tanks that you don't have, but you can't exchange the ones that you've got the tank for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. But yeah, it's um, a funny old game. But. Uh, that was the containers, that was the, the graph tank, you had to play, you had to win 13 battles to choose either the, the trick or the treat background with a couple of extras thrown in, uh, an avatar, a scarecrow avatar and a pumpkin head avatar, but I went for the scarecrow in the thing be. But with the twister camouflage you get 725 gold, so if you need it it's there, but I don't need it, it's uh, camouflage is there as well for the FCM. Not that that's played that often now, because it's, it's sort of been uh, adapted by the changes in the game. But I've got plenty of camouflages to choose from. Over the years you build them all up, you pick them up, you don't use them. And they're always there for a change. Backgrounds are the same. You, know. you pick them up as you go along. But that's the Steel Sentinel back from the, the offline cup. I think there was four. Yeah, there was four. Yeah, that's them there. All side by side. But that's the old Tektronic. Not the Tesla gun, that's not on there, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's the Tektronic for the Wargaming Fest 2018. Good camouflage. And that's the Blitz Twister Cup. Steel Sentinel, as I said, and you've got the other three that are below that, the Steel Ibris, the Psyche, and the Calhoun. But you're picking these up free in boxes and what have you, and that's a fan zone, that's f one that we used to get for watching the, the live streams as well. It'll probably turn up somewhere. But you see some of the, uh, the, the older camouflages that we used to have to grind for, or do events for, or do competitions for, are now in common. <laughs> yeah, funny old game. But yeah, if you're gonna have two accounts, just be wary of how you bind them together. If the uh, if you're using one phone number, the system won't allow it. If you're using one email address for logging in, you have to watch what's gonna happen because you'll either be in in one or logged out of the other because they have to reset the password. So just be wary. That's my Steam account, I either log in as one for EU or the other for any. But I got these wee messages. Oops, look like you already have an account with these credentials on another server. Um, no, it was two separate emails, two separate passwords, two separate nicknames. <laughs> and that's what you have to do. So when you go through wargaming.net thing to change server, it sends you back to the original account that you were on and logs you out of your other account. So be wary folks. Be wary. <laughs> anyway, 
I hope this uh, wakens some people up just before they link all their hard-end graft and accounts. Catch you later, folks. Catch you later.